hospital in Vermont's more rural part of the state has more patients with mental health issues than they can keep. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live with what's being done to improve care in the Northeast Kingdom. Good morning, Dom and Alexandra. Now, the Northeastern Vermont Regional Hospital in St. Johnsbury is currently in the process of adding four beds to its emergency room for mental health patients. At the Northeastern Vermont Regional Hospital, or NVRH, CEO Sean Tester says patients needing mental health help are staying longer, up to a little more than 27 hours in 2022, compared to nearly 24 hours in 2021. You can't get those patients to an appropriate treatment facility because there just aren't enough beds. So what would end up happening is they, they sit in our emergency department for hours and days on end, right? I had one person who spent 200 hours in our emergency department just a few short weeks ago. That's why they're looking to expand. Phase one is four new rooms with windows, bathrooms, and a family support area. It cost the hospital almost $3 million paid for by grants. The second phase, which would complete the bed count to 16, would cost $16 million. Tester says the community has raised around $4 million too. Without the beds, these individuals end up back at home and that just increases our activity to, to go assist them and bring them back up to the hospital and try to get them treated. St. Johnsbury Fire Department Chief Bradley Reed says it's hard to discern how many of the 60% of home calls they respond to are mental health related, but anecdotally says there's been an increase as well as an increase of awareness. Not only would more beds take pressure off the ER itself, but Bradley says it would be helpful to keep first responding resources local to the NEK. And more changes on its way to the area. NEK Human Services provides mental health and substance abuse support and partners with the hospital. Executive Director Kelsey Stabsess says a dedicated volunteer drop-off space is being planned for the area. What we would do if there's no medical emergency, if people are cleared, then they could go directly to this front porch model, uh, living room model, and uh, be supported there instead of the ED. And so that would have trained clinicians, peers, um, and uh, folks who are steeped in uh, therapeutic supports. Um, to better support uh, people and keep them in their community. This so-called front porch model is being funded by about one and a half million dollars put aside in the governor's budget. Having a local designated community alternative is pretty important. And so we're actively seeking out a uh, physical location currently. And phase one of MVRH's expansion will be complete at the end of June. Live in the newsroom, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 This Morning.